Hey guys, welcome on in, and today we're going to be at the abandoned Slayton Farm School. Back in the 1800s, William Penn gave a grant to a man by the name of Henry Slayton. Henry Slayton would take this money to a small, quiet area in Pennsylvania, where a small farmhouse would be built on a hill that would become known as the Evans House. The Evans House, which would later become the school, was rebuilt in 1833 by John Warhol. This house would later be acquired by the Philadelphia House of Refuge in 1905. This later broke off to a boys and a girls department. Both of these departments, however, would later move into the Glen Mills, a rural small town in Delaware County. In 1931, the girls' school decided it needed to change, so it separated from Glen Mills and became known as Slayton. Well, like everything else, eventually this school closed down in 2001 due to claimed financial difficulties. And ever since, it's been vacant. So upon arrival, we kind of see that it's mostly pretty vacant in the area. There's a small park, but apart from that, which is empty, it just seems to be us out there. Another important thing to note is that entrances to this place change on an almost daily basis. So any of the doors that you're going to see open here, they won't be open anymore. So don't get any ideas. Off in the distance here, we can hear lawn mowers, so it's apparent that the grounds are being maintained. This sets us on a little bit of an edge. Yeah. Going now. I'm gonna patch you my shit when once you're in. Maybe a little quieter. Jesus Christ, I don't think they're gonna hear us like the lawn mowers on it. Mid. Oh. It's also like weirdly cooler, so it's like a strange, you know, mesh between the two. Alright, oh that's pretty cool. Got some like Oh. Yeah, so that's what that was. Oh shoot, there's more, there's a way to get farther in over here. Hang on. No, there's more. Trying not to. Probably. Floors are actually pretty stable. Yeah. You got more machines. That's pretty cool. Let's go see if that other way leads to anywhere. Careful, careful. On the second level, we noticed there's holes in the floor. And if you know anything about wood flooring, you would know that it's not very reliable after years and years of decay. On top of this, the only part of this top floor which seems to have a lot of darkness is the part with all of the holes in the floor. So it's not a very safe place to be. Thank you. 
That's not even what's weird. The tape goes around the whole place. I don't know. Oh shit, this is the main floor. Oh wow. Beautiful. Got a fridge and shit. Yeah, it does. Dark hallway, and then there's the stairs. I'm heading up the stairs. Okay. It really opens up. Crazy amount. Think of that. Oh, that hurts to do that. Okay, never mind. You know, these buildings are really humid in the summer. I just thought they were actually pretty, like, cool temperature in the winter and the summer. But it's just Oh, wow. Okay. So there's more. You didn't want to explore. That's right, I didn't want to explore, I said. Hold on. Huh. It's a wall walker. Right? A desk, some papers. I wonder what they say. It's an auto checklist of all the vehicles that they have. We have a 1998 Dodge, 1998 Dodge by Caravan, which was just purchased. And got the plate numbers, all that stuff. Let's go. What a sleep. I'm on the way, going in. This is Yana. This is Yana. So here we start making our way from the first building we were able to get into to try to find another one. And this is when we run into a lot of problems with security very fast. We, we should go down to that one first. I thought that would be kind of cool. I don't think we need to get into that one. They did say that the uh, entry is varying. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let me tell you, with how long we've been doing this, there is no way in hell we were going to let the lawn people be the ones that caught us and took us out of this place. Try and go up this way again. I think that truck is dormant, so just blast right by. I don't think they're going to action. Alright, so. I think it's in the truck right there. So it depends if you guys just want to go for it. See what happens. Take a walk. Go to yeah, try to on the side. Let's just walk out around. Yeah, probably long car, yeah. I just dump that on it. Let's go. Okay. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. That, that was security right there. Right past. Yeah, there's sign up there, so there's no truck pass. And security just off. Alright, let's step. Yeah. Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's what we were able to get into when we were at the farm school. Uh, security was pretty tight, as you get to see. But hopefully, you know, next time we go back, we get to go and see more. Uh, my favorite thing was probably getting to see those um, old freaking just, just... Just seeing how old those arcade machines were just still chilling in there. And, you know, it, that's one of the best things about doing this type of stuff. If you ever do decide to go out and do it yourself... It's being able to see how time passes and how things still exist. It's something that's pretty awesome. Um, for those of you who regularly view this channel, uh, you'd probably be wondering where the heck have I been for four weeks? Well, I've been in New Orleans, but that's for a whole nother video. So until then, I will see you guys next time. And uh, I don't know, keep it easy. I'll just say I'll end video as well. Bye.